Chapter 4, Napster, Disrupting the Music Industry Disrupting the Music Industry, The Rise and Fall of Napster In the late 1990s, a revolutionary technology emerged that would forever change the way people consumed and shared music. Napster, the brainchild of college student Sean Fanning, introduced the world to peer-to-peer, P2P, file sharing, enabling users to easily exchange MP3 files over the internet. What began as a dorm room project quickly grew into a cultural phenomenon, disrupting the music industry and sparking a heated debate over copyright, piracy, and the future of digital media. This chapter explores the rise and fall of Napster, tracing its impact on the music industry and its enduring legacy in the digital age. The Birth of Napster Napster was born in 1999 when Sean Fanning, along with his friend Sean Parker, developed a peer-to-peer file-sharing platform that allowed users to share music files freely over the internet. Unlike previous file-sharing services, Napster utilized a decentralized network architecture, enabling users to connect directly to one another's computers and exchange MP3 files without the need for centralized servers. This innovative approach made it easy for users to discover and download music from a vast catalog of songs, effectively bypassing traditional distribution channels and copyright restrictions. The Rise to Prominence Napster's user-friendly interface and extensive music library quickly captured the imagination of music lovers worldwide. Within months of its launch, Napster had amassed millions of users and become a household name. Its popularity soared as users embraced the platform as a convenient and cost-effective way to access music. Napster's social features, including chat rooms and user profiles, further enhanced its appeal, fostering a sense of community among its users and solidifying its status as a cultural phenomenon. Legal Battles and Copyright Controversy Napster's rapid ascent to prominence drew the ire of the music industry, which viewed the platform as a threat to its traditional business model. Record labels and artists accused Napster of facilitating copyright infringement by allowing users to share copyrighted music without permission or compensation. In 2000, the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA, filed a lawsuit against Napster, alleging massive copyright violations and seeking to shut down the service. The legal battle that ensued sparked a fierce debate over the rights of copyright holders, the responsibilities of online platforms, and the future of digital media. While Napster argued that it was merely a neutral platform that facilitated the exchange of files between users, the courts ultimately ruled in favor of the music industry, ordering Napster to cease its operations and pay substantial damages for copyright infringement. Legacy and Impact Despite its demise, Napster's impact on the music industry and digital culture cannot be overstated. Napster laid the groundwork for subsequent innovations in digital distribution and peer-to-peer networking, paving the way for the rise of platforms such as BitTorrent and Spotify. Its disruptive influence forced the music industry to adapt to the realities of the digital age, spurring the development of new business models and distribution channels. Moreover, Napster's legacy extends beyond its technological innovations to its cultural and social impact. Napster democratized access to music, empowering users to discover and share music from diverse genres and artists around the world. It challenged the gatekeeping power of record labels and radio stations, giving independent artists and underground musicians a platform to reach a global audience. Expanding on the rise and fall of Napster, we can delve deeper into several key aspects, including its cultural impact, the evolution of online piracy, the response of the music industry, and the lessons learned from Napster's legacy. Cultural impact and music discovery. Napster wasn't just a platform for sharing music, it was a cultural phenomenon that reshaped the way people interacted with music. For many users, Napster was a gateway to discovering new artists, genres, and songs they may not have encountered through traditional channels. Its decentralized nature allowed for a vast and eclectic library of music to be shared freely, fostering a culture of exploration and experimentation. Napster also facilitated the revival of obscure or out-of-print music, empowering music enthusiasts to uncover hidden gems and rediscover forgotten classics. Evolution of Online Piracy Napster's rise marked the beginning of the era of online piracy, setting a precedent for subsequent file-sharing networks and torrent sites. While Napster was shut down in 2001 following legal challenges, its demise did little to deter the proliferation of illegal file-sharing platforms. Instead, it spurred the development of decentralized and anonymized networks like BitTorrent, which made it even more difficult for authorities to combat online piracy. The cat-and-mouse game between copyright holders and online pirates continues to this day, underscoring the ongoing challenges of enforcing intellectual property rights in the digital age. 
Response of the music industry The music industry's response to Napster was initially characterized by resistance and litigation, as record labels and artists sought to protect their intellectual property rights and revenue streams. However, as the popularity of file sharing continued to grow, the industry gradually shifted its approach, recognizing the need to adapt to changing consumer behavior and technological trends. This shift led to the development of legitimate digital distribution platforms, such as iTunes and Spotify, which offered consumers legal alternatives to piracy while providing artists with new revenue streams through digital downloads and streaming royalties. Lessons learned and innovation. Napster's legacy serves as a cautionary tale for industries facing disruption from emerging technologies. It underscores the importance of embracing innovation and adapting to changing market conditions, rather than clinging to outdated business models or resorting to legal battles. While Napster's original business model may have ultimately failed, it played a pivotal role in driving innovation in the music industry and paving the way for the digital music revolution. Its rise and fall offer valuable lessons for businesses and policymakers alike, highlighting the need for proactive engagement with technological change and the importance of finding creative solutions to complex challenges. In conclusion, the story of Napster is a multifaceted tale of technological innovation, cultural transformation, and industry upheaval. It reshaped the music landscape, challenged traditional notions of copyright and ownership, and sparked a global debate over the future of digital media. Although Napster's original format may have ultimately succumbed to legal and regulatory challenges, its legacy lives on in the digital landscape it helped to shape. Napster revolutionized the way we consume and share music, leaving an indelible mark on the music industry and inspiring a new generation of entrepreneurs and innovators to push the boundaries of what is possible in the digital age. Thank you for watching.